actually crazy. It's gotten to the point where a fat acceptance creator talked about how she couldn't even wipe her own ass and she was just totally fine with it. If you were fat and you- Hey yo, what the fuck? They go, what? Oh! Ew! Dude! What the fuck? As somebody who was once the fat kid, I need to come on this video. Thankfully, I was never the fat kid. I was always like, like the fast kid who was able to run fast. Especially in today's day and age. Why are people glorifying the fact that they're fat? Like, this is actually ridiculous. Recently, I've seen a lot of fat acceptance TikToks going around. And I've also seen a bunch where people complain about, like, the current state of certain things. Like, for example, airplane seats. There was this one lady who made a whole petition to basically make fat people be able to have two seats seats on an airplane when they only purchase one if you want more room on the plane you gotta buy two tickets that's how it is and that's how it's always been there was this lady on tiktok talking about how she couldn't fit in an airplane seat and she wanted a free second seat because she wanted quote an accommodation for being fat now this video isn't to make fun of people who are sir ma'am make fun of people who are glorified it's not my fault that you're fat as fuck now i'm playing no i'm playing don't be mean no. i honestly hope none, none of the like flight attacks it's on the plane whenever they have to deal with this is like actually say that at least that's how i would feel people aren't gonna go out of the way to accommodate you just because you happen to be fat you have to realize these products are made for the average person and the average person is not breaking down crying eating a shit ton of food and breaking everything in his path but for whatever reason with southwest airlines this policy actually went through i don't know how the hell this actually went through bro if you think about it who what? is paying for that other ticket when the did they go when did it go through just so generous that they'll go out of their way to no everybody on the flight is paying for it none of these airlines care about the customer like they claim a lot of these airlines tax like crazy for the ticket prices and imagine there's people who actually use this accommodation on your flight that's going to be even more money, more money for them and the major problem with this is it's at other people's expense and the prices of things in this economy is crazy already. yeah Great. yeah inflation for a bunch of stuff have been going up I why people would so i wouldn't be shocked if more niggas are really random be paying for this a much higher risk for diabetes heart disease and all this other shit so the fact that people are on here glorifying it like it's a good thing it's just crazy to me like how could you encourage people to think that this is a great movement and this is like a good thing for society bro it's one of the biggest problems in this generation obesity rate yeah like a lot of niggas just be randomly fat as hell and then randomly they just want to be like trolls online always want to complain about something that they're not good at something or basically like some shit like that it's just like you know like respectfully like self-love self-love right self-love like if you're fat and you, you try to work on your like you know health or stuff or try to lose like weight or you know you know lose a little bit of weight but not like too much then like i always like respect that but like just accepting that you're fat and then doing nothing about it and then just eating more and then just like just just, just, just cut, cut the shit cut the shit cut the shit are higher than they ever been. I swear to God, I, I did not mean it like that. My bad, bro. Well, at least here in the United States, it doesn't help at all that a lot of the food here yeah. is really shit for you. Like there's fat yeah, a lot, a, a lot of the junk food, especially there's McDonald's. Restaurants near me, it's just flooded with fast food places. I mean, once in a while, whatever, right? Eating like that all the time is just horrible for your health. If you're hungry as hell, I'm not gonna hold you when I say I really never. It is what it is. Looks like I'm eating. Like if I ever try to go eat out, like because. I don't I honestly don't know how to cook then I try to go for something healthy I I immediately don't go for something that's like junk food like McDonald's on TikTok or whatever are teaching people that that eating like this is perfectly fine and normal and no and no too much McDonald's won't clog your arteries at all absolutely not I gotta hold you I find these niggas disgusting like like hey make your bag make your bag I can respect that I can respect you trying to make a bag out off of just eating something reviewing it and then just uploading it but same 
and not become like them. They just show eating and then just doing this, just sports, fast food, drinking soda. And keep in mind, this is just a light day, bro. This is the average day. All this sugar, all yeah. Honestly, honestly, generally, like, really question how do people like because there are certain people that eat McDonald's every day, and I'm like, and I mean. I guess you're free to eat whatever you want. How do you do it? Dude, it comes with a lot of health problems. Like, sometimes I'll eat I'll eat McDonald's. Like, you know, I'll generally eat it, like, you know, once in a while. But, like, every day? Every week? When I'm old as hell, too tired to move, I want to feel like that I accomplished everything that I wanted to accomplish. And if my diet is shit, I wouldn't be able to live long enough to see the day. And a lot of these fat acceptance creators like to cope with the fact that, oh, I'm happy. Yeah, dear God. You're telling me you what the? Feel like uh, shit okay. every day because you're putting a bunch of shit food in your body? I don't know. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Like, I'm pretty sure they would be much happier if they were on a diet and they were eating better. And that's just the truth. Now, I understand that, like, these eating habits and shit can be, like, a hard cycle to break, right? But you gotta think about it in the long run. Like, your health is on the line here. Like, health's on the line. You could, you know, die from heart disease anytime now. Take care of my health. Like, they take all this stuff that people need to do to stay active and be healthy, and they just throw it out the window. You know, like, that kid in second grade on the fucking playground that would put his fingers in his ears and just start screaming, la, la, la. That's pretty much them. <laughs> Used to listen. People in the comments tell them like, "Hey, this is." So Someone's about to take that out of context. <laughs> and why are you showing it off? And they still continue making videos about this shit. And to anybody that says this or disagrees with them or tells them to lose weight, they call them fat phobic. The fuck does that even mean? That is the dumbest shit I've ever heard of. Well, why has there been a ton of words that like? Blank and then phobic. Like, why has that been like a trend recently? Like, for some reason, every year there's a new there's a new word where it's blank and then phobic. Like, I don't. Like even the dude that comes in on New Year's Day and never shows up again is putting in more effort than you right now. Like that is crazy. I guess they're doing this because they really don't want to go to the gym or something. I, I don't know. That might just be their elaborate ass excuse to get out of it. And just for that, right when I get up tomorrow morning, I'm hitting the craziest lift in the gym. You know, bro, these people, when they wake up in the morning, they're like, damn, I'm about to hit the craziest mukbang today. What a lot of mukbang yeah. creators do is they just shove a bunch of fast food. Not gonna hold you want to say i'm really not into mug being videos like dead ass like like i'll watch uh, like food reviews sometimes just be there and inhale all this food in front of him it's actually crazy it's gone like i'll watch food reviews sometimes but it's only to see all uh, like what, what what the actual food is and then see if i want to taste it myself saying he was losing weight thank god bro like i'm actually happy for bro that he's losing weight because he was creeping up on 400 pounds he was in pissing distance on it. and it's good that he took the time to realize like shit am i going way too far for content oh never mind he made this video i quit my weight loss journey time to get fat again oh we lost yeah nico avocado and then there's like this one like girl like youtuber i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure some I I, forgot, I think it was Sunny V2, or uh, it was, I think it was Turkey Tom, or it was some YouTuber that made like a video on them. <gasps> when I saw that they were somewhat reaching the same like weight as Nico Avocado, or they was reaching it before Nico Avocado reached that, I'm like, hey, how are you doing this? Like, 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 I general generally like I I I understand you you like to eat, but do you not like to live either. Awesome. It's over. I don't know. Maybe I'm just sleeping on him. Maybe one day he'll come back to YouTube as an absolute unit, a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> oh, for me. No one would want to mess with him. But nah, that would actually make history books. He's got to take inspiration from Gunna, bro. This transformation was crazy. And when it comes to dating, a lot of these people say the same shit. If you wouldn't date a fat woman, you're fat phobic, bro. It's called having a preference. If a girl. I mean, it's cool having. Day, it's cool having a preference. Some people like to date, you know, fat people because, like, you know, look. People out there. That want to some fat people got like big fat asses and sometimes people are just into that but sometimes people just aren't into that you know a week ago and i don't know man like sometimes you got to be you know fit and have a fat let me not let me not say that someone's gonna take that out of context it said quote men are fucking shit because no one hit on her that's crazy so i'm literally leaving the club early because men are fucking shit 
I'm sure the Uber driver has such a great story to tell now. There's no way I would have been able to keep it together if I was the Uber driver. A lot of these TikTokers make videos just blaming it on the media for using skinny models, skinny actresses, and to an extent that can ruin people's self images, like stuff that they see on social media. I mean, no okay, so having like lower self confidence. As, stuff. I'm not a female, so I feel like some girls like you know actually do do this, but it's like your body exercise and just do all that shit. How can you even blame the media? You blame the media, like you control your life. Your life is dependent. Because not all media, like you know, like just you know promote like white skinny people. Like some, there's some that actually do promote like fat, like fat, like fat or like thick, you know, females. It's just you know. Like, they're still like healthy and fitted even if they're like fat or thick so like, like i get thrown in some situation let's say some fucking serial killer was after my ass bro i wouldn't be able to run away i would die nah bro i gotta be able to get out of there and it's clearly a problem like when they have to use the scooters at target and they're not even like disabled or hurt they literally can't walk without getting tired it is actually crazy it's gotten to the point where a fat acceptance creator talked about how she couldn't even wipe her own ass and she was just totally fine with it if you are fat and you lose weight or if you tell oh. you lose weight they call you ableist yes, oh yo and ableist. who doesn't like to wipe their own a they're, they're letting it crush and be mud but oh god eye-opening moment could be yeah i couldn't even wipe my own ass i definitely need to change something oh hell no type of content so much because it's just i'm sorry but if i'm dating like a fat girl and they said that to me i'm i'm we're gonna have to break up i'm sorry i'm being hope fat hope phobic but like from their weight loss journey and even making them feel guilty you wipe your own ass and how we're we're gonna have sex. Ableist mm. and fat phobic and all this other shit. And it feels like deep down inside, these people are really unhappy with how they are. And they just say all the shit to cope with the fact that they're not really doing anything about it. For example, I have this post right here. I'm so embarrassed. Oh my god, especially on Twitter. How far I come. If it's not it, it's if it's not Twitter, it's either Instagram or TikTok where you see posts like this. I'm happy you're proud. I'm just like. But I feel like you're saying you're embarrassed to be a certain weight is not it. I swear, formerly fat people who lose weight have some of the worst fat phobia. Oh my god, queen, it's not it. Like, bro, shut the hell up. Yes, it is totally normal to be embarrassed of old pictures. Especially if you were way heavier in them and did not like those older pictures. Just saying, I don't know. But yeah, these people have just completely lost the plot. I don't know what their deal is. They're like the ringleaders of cancel culture. But little do you know. That oh my so god. Check out this video I made on... Why Facebook. cancel culture is dying. Not gonna hold you interesting video if you guys want me to all uh, react to that next please tell me in the comments there's so that was the video hope you guys did the video all right all right, all right. Uh, comment word i video common word i dub video not gonna hold you not gonna hold you like not gonna lie guys if you if you guys are fat if you guys are fat and like you're my advice right is to basically work on it right like it like i know it's very hard to lose like a lot of weight in a certain amount of time especially if you're dealing with other stuff like i don't know like school or you're working like a job or something i understand because not everyone can lose it like in like like a month or you know like in a year like sometimes it sometimes it takes months sometimes it takes weeks it, sometimes it may take years like you know i know like even though i'm not fat i'm pretty like you know slim but i'm very like fit and all that like i know it's very hard but my advice is try not to be too weighted try to at least lose some of it try to be make sure that you're at least like i don't know athletic or you're at least fitted to that way like you know your heart doesn't cancel and just Make sure you're healthy. That's all I'm maxing. If you guys are fat, if any of you guys are fat, just please tell me you're healthy. But yeah, that was the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the bell and get notified when I upload a new video. Comment what do you guys want to react to next. Anyways, that was the video. I'll see you guys later. Bye. <gasps> Pups.